Orange Park has a very diverse food scene. I've discovered that on so many levels. So the RCL family, minus myself, rolled out to try out some of the Puerto Rican flavors you can find in Orange Park. Welcome, Welcome to Palermo. Okay, River City Live, today we are hanging out in Kingsley, which for me is a brand new part of the area that I haven't gotten to explore yet, so boy are we diving in today. And I am here with Daisy, who is one of the owners of Palermo's Puerto Rican Kitchen, and she has prepared a feast. And by her, I mean her brother, actually. <laughs> So Daisy, thank you so much for inviting us in and hosting us today. I know we have a lot to talk about, but first of all, kick us off with the cuisine that you are bringing to our area. Oh, absolutely. So it is, um, it, this restaurant was started by my, our mom, uh, Daisy. Um, and so a lot of the recipes are a combination of my brothers, uh, Javi and Tony. And, and my mom, of course. So we're gonna check in with Javi in a little bit and get the details on some of the dishes that we have here. But Daisy, you mentioned a lot of these recipes are from your mom and from your family. So how does that translate into how the restaurant is run as, as really a familial business? Basically, my mom's idea was to, you know, bring in what, the, you know, our culture. In Jacksonville, yes, they are a lot of uh, Puerto Rican restaurants, but we wanted to make it a little bit different than the rest with adding the Italian fusion to it. Um, we are part Italian, um, but we are also Puerto Ricans, and, but we wanted to kind of cater to everyone. And that's the fantastic thing about Jacksonville is that, you know, we talk about America as a melting pot. Boy, do we <laughs> embody that here, and we're so lucky and blessed to have such a variety of different people and cultures that we can enjoy. Can you talk about what you want people to experience when they come here to the Flairmo Kitchen to dine Absolutely. with you? Absolutely. Everything is basically made from scratch. We want everybody to like experience the Puerto Rican flair, but we also like, like I said earlier, we like to offer something different for those that are not really adventurous in trying into, you know, the Puerto Rican uh, cuisine. Sure, I mean, and that's the thing is like, I think a lot of people sometimes get scared by different cultures when it comes to cuisine, but here's the thing, is music and food is something everybody loves. <laughs> so be open and yes. give it a try and ask. You know, you guys have six different owners here that can all give you their recommendations. <laughs> yes, and, yes. and talk to us about that team. That's a, that's a lot of cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> yes, my mom decided, or our mom decided to uh, retire. And so basically we went ahead and took over the uh, family restaurant. Awesome. Well, we are so excited to meet the entire family. And now we're gonna check in with Chef Javi so he can give us a deep dive on some of his favorite dishes. Mm -hmm. A lot of the dishes are been around in the family. My mom's been taking care of a lot of these things. For one of our biggest specialty dishes would be what we call the boillo, um, which is tip your typical Christmas Puerto Rican dish. It's got the rice with the pigeon peas, the uh, Puerto Rican style tamal, pastel, and uh, roasted pork and sweet plantains. Up here, we got our little Italian flair, which would be our skirt steak marsala with garlic mashed potatoes. One of our big sellers in front is our Cuban sandwich with black beans, yellow rice. We definitely want people to know that um, we are a little bit different than other Puerto Rican restaurants. As you can see, our, our style is very different. We go for um, a little bit more mellow. More family oriented. Yes, very. More, we're just more about the food and about yes. the atmosphere than anything else. Of course, there's going to be challenges, fun and not so fun, but I yes. mean, we've been doing it for quite some time now, a little over 13 years. Here in Jacksonville, my yes. parents have actually been doing it since the 80s in Texas. So, yeah, it's challenging, but I wouldn't change it for anything. I don't think any of us would have changed it any, anyway. You can find the restaurant on social media at Palermo Puerto Rican Kitchen to stay connected. For an unbeatable family atmosphere and a delicious fusion of Puerto Rican and Italian cuisine, make sure to visit Palermo Restaurant. You won't regret it.